I do not want this on record. I was devastated. I was like, I couldn't watch the full video. I had to stop it multiple times because I didn't think it was real. I said, this must be a prank. This, this is not real. I do not want this on record. I'm not joking. I'll Are take you your phone to the I'm office. I am not gonna stand back with my hands crossed and wait for the phone call to tell me, oh, your daughter has been killed. Just like it, if you're talking, nobody wants to play. Who in their right mind? Because I trust my child to go to school, but I also trust the staff to keep my kids safe. And then this lady, she just, she actually making them fight. As educators, our hearts are heavy, knowing that an individual entrusted with the supervision and care of our students could behave in this manner. And we share the disgust that the families of students in this class must feel. She is the grown up in this whole situation and for her to condone this and lead the fight, it's very unacceptable. It's disgusting. This lady needs to be behind bars. She really does. I'm not going to stop until she is. Earlier today, Garcia just walked right into the police department and turned herself in. They were not expecting it. She's accused of not just allowing, but encouraging students to fist fight. This appears to be an isolated incident, definitely trying to conceal her actions and the actions that were going on in the class. We need to have extra precautions as to who we hire. What you did was very disgusting and 
I wanted to make it clear, my daughter did not ruin your reputation as a substitute, as a teacher. She did not ruin your career. You ruin your own career.